Hello from the <laughs> Hey guys! Hi everyone! Well, welcome back. We were just jamming to some Adele before, so yeah, it's it was gonna be stuck great. in our head this whole night. <laughs> Little sing session. Week, month. Welcome session. back to Popcorn to Bed. Yes. Thank Hi everyone! You. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm excited to watch a movie with you. And you. Same. <laughs> this is one of our February love <gasps> month movie. Oh, that's why we're watching it. Yeah. Oh, I love February popcorn and bed. <laughs> Let's skip October. <laughs> Double February. Double February. I guess it's my popcorn pick. I was going to put it on the modern romance movies I haven't seen pull, but I've just been wanting to watch it for like two years. So hold an audible. Cassie's popcorn pick of the month. This is The Lake House. At so, first I thought it was a scary movie. And I, I, I typed in The Lake House. I was like pulling up the movie. She's like, no, no. <laughs> because I feel like, is there a scary movie called The Lake House or is it just, that's like the premise of every scary movie? Yeah. No, I, I get it. Like, yeah, I was not okay. But I was like, no, it's a romantic movie. And now I'm pumped. <laughs> um, okay, so Keanu Reeves, Sandra Bullock, who we oh. saw fall in love in Speed. Yes, we remember? did. Remember on the bus? I did think that was Freddie Prince Jr., but it's not. It's <laughs> Keanu Reeves. Uh, Do they yes. look similar? I, in my head now, I'm trying to picture both. A very young Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Yeah. I with that because it was Freddie Prince Jr. in that like baseball movie with Jessica Biel. Yeah. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. No. <sighs> you're welcome. Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. Yeah, love I them. love both of them. <laughs> Me so too. I'm excited. Okay, I also know this has a time travel element. Oh. And the reason I think I have not watched this movie is because I watched The Time Traveler's Wife with Rachel McAdams and Eric Bana. Did you ever mm -hmm. see that one? I did. I feel like I saw part of it, but I didn't It ever. gutted me. So I think I probably was like, nope, I'm not watching mm -hmm. Time Travelers. Yeah, in, in my head, it was gonna be sad. So, but here we are. But here we are. And if this is sad for Love Month, so freaking help me. Okay, guys. I haven't seen it, <laughs> but I really hope it's not too. I know, that'd be devastating. I'm sure it will be. It's yeah. Happy. Yeah. Put it out in the universe. The movie's already made. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Love Month feature number two, I guess, because I already watched Singing in the Rain from our classic romantic mm. poll. So here we go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, Patreon, Instagram, the bell, something lovey right here. I'll let yeah. you decide, Matt. Okay. Fine. <laughs> here we go. See you soon. Dun, dun, dun. It just sounds scary. <laughs> Every time you say it, it sounds scary. And the beast is What's your favorite Sandra Bullock blah, movie? Blah. So many. I know. Miss Congeniality, Two this. Weeks Notice, oh. Blindside. Oh, yeah. The Proposal? The Proposal. That's that high. One. Yeah, it has to be that one. But I think I've seen Miss Congeniality the most. Like, it's my mm. most, like, quotable, like... Yeah. When I think of Sandra Bullock, I kind of yeah. think of that one yes. first. And her strut. Yes. Of the... Yeah. Whatever. What? Her little lavender dress. The lady. <laughs> totally. But I loved her in While You Were Sleeping. Did you? Yeah. I, like... I just watched that again at Christmas. It was so good. Unpopular opinion though, that is not my favorite of that like genre. Genre and like timeline. Oh, dog. Put that on your popcorn and bed bingo card. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it'll like go away. In the last like day or two, I'm like, I do need a dog. <laughs> and I try so wow. That's very transparent house. Yeah. And you probably haven't seen Keanu Reeves in a ton. Mm -mm. The Matrix. Speed. Speed. You never saw John Wick. The Maybe one. That like Netflix one that came out a little bit ago, a few years ago. He was in it for like half a second. And he played like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was like, be my maybe or something. Hmm. Oh, we saw him in um, the one with Bodhi. Um, Point Break. Bodhi. Oh, Johnny yay. Utah. Johnny Utah. No, I'm I'm Dr. Forrester. 
I was told to report here. Quiet morning. If you get into trouble, beep me. What's he doing here? I ordered an MRI. Stat. Transport said about four hours. He could be dead in four hours. <sighs> Never mind. Dr. Forrester, MRI. Um, am I going to make it? Ah, uh, yes. Absolutely. I made my famous spinach pie. The trailer's nice and toasty. So, I heard you bought a house. Well, I mentioned that. You don't mean that thing with the stilts. Are they together? It's made of glass. Get yourself some boots. I think she wants to be together. Yeah. But spinach pie is not the way to win mm -mm. his heart, I don't think. <laughs> we saw her when she was leaving the house, was she selling it? I don't know. Because she did, did look put like a letter in there. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah. Start. Okay, okay. Sorry, she should be patient. I filed a change of address with the post office, but you know what a crapshoot that can be, so if anything slips through, would you please do me a favor and forward my mail? My new address is below. Thanks in advance. Sorry about the paw prints by the front door. They were there when I moved in. Same with the box in the attic. What the hell is she talking about? Wow. That's cool, though. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Bye. 60 degrees on Valentine's Day. The TV says it's global warming. What's this? That's nothing. It's one of your fathers. It's about a guy who breaks the neck of a poor woman with an ex and so far keeps wandering around regretting it. When your father passed away, I feel like he's with me somehow, knowing that he was once on the same pages, reading the same words. <laughs> Can't get to 17 until at least next week. Come on, Mulhern, that's bullshit. You know it. You grab four or five of those other guys who are sitting around doing nothing on seven and ten. Let's go. I heard about Daily Plaza. Mm -hmm. EMT said you fought hard for the guy. On your day off, get as far away from this place as you can. It's crazy. As a doctor, the responsibility you would feel like everywhere. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like anything Still happened in around you. Yeah. Like, you can't really turn off. Yeah. Dear Ms. Forster, I got your note. As far as I know, the lake house has been empty for several years. Maybe your note was intended for the Sandberg house. But I'm curious about the paw print. What? By the way, it's 2006. Has been all year. Ask anyone. 2006? What if it's six? Ew, 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 ew. Good morning, Mr. Weiler. Good morning, Mr. Weiler. Good morning. What, you're at this morning. movie club? I don't know. Maybe 2006. Oh, I know him. Yeah. He was in the Inside Man, I think. He was that, like, guy who owned the, oh, all the bank. Oh, yeah. The uh -huh. bank. Uh -huh. And then I remember in that movie, I was trying to pin where I knew it for something else. I don't mm -hmm. think I ever looked it up. No. Knives out. Good job. Thanks. High five. We did it. Wow. <laughs> Brothers? I can't believe that thing's still running. It looked like shit. Just you too. <laughs> hey, forget about it. I don't believe this. I come back after four years and I get this in front of me. Dad keeps you hostage in that little myth making fact. Is that their dad? Yikes. You have vision. Uh, speaking of which, I'd like you to know I bought a house on the lake. You bought a lake house, so you are making some money. Well, it's a dump. Been abandoned for years. I even got a dog. You got a dog? You just. Showed up at the house. What? Do they, have, do they have the same dog? I think so. Like that dog that created the paw prints? I'm pretty sure that was the same. The dog that she came home to? Yeah. You should be here. 1620 North Racine. Are we meeting someone? Does somebody live here? What? I thought so. What year is he in? Yeah. He must be before, right? Because the paw prints were made with him and she saw them. True. So he's true. Earlier. I went to 1620 North Racine, but does and it's not there. His life look a little more modern. If you are truly in the year 2004, it's like only two years. Just in case you really are where and when you think you are, you'll need this. Three plates snow that spring, and everyone got sick. No, right. But then, if it's like two years, she would have been in that house, right? It was two years ago. My brain's really bad at time travel comprehension, <laughs> so. I know. And everyone got sick. <gasps> oh. 
So she's going to the house. <gasps> Are they in different dimensions? <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> yeah, because the letters aren't going through the mail. Oh my gosh. Jack. Possible, I know. Not possible. But it's happening. So they're practically standing right beside each other. <laughs> yeah, I too am at the lake house, but I'm getting a little tired of these games, so I'm going to be leaving. Tell me about the future. What's it like in the year 2006? I'm afraid the world's pretty much the same. Of course, we all dress in shiny metal jumpsuits and drive flying cars. Yeah, it's weird that it's like only two years, you know, yeah. like, yeah. I've been thinking about the paw prints. How is that possible? Well, I think we have the same dog. Oh, yeah? What's yours like? According to the vet, Mai's eight years old, Nors, and sleeps like a person. I don't know why, but I call her Jack. Hello, Jack. Take a walk with me. This Saturday, let me show you. Why are you going through all this trouble for me? Summer's here. Oh my gosh. This is so weird. Yeah. You didn't forget to mention your husband, did you? Of course I love my husband, who is also a doctor. I'm married too. I've got eight children, and none of them look like me. I'm worried, Kate. It's kind of like you've got mail. Yeah, except they can like never meet. I wish we could have done this walk together. Kate, I'm here with you. Thanks. Wait. The lovely Saturday. I just got goosebumps. But I feel like she should be able to like, write that for him, but how can he write it for her? Look at the date on the letter. The date. Oh, you mean the time scene? Yes, yeah, detail. Just the detail? He can go find her in Madison, where she is in 2004, like she said, but she would have no idea who he was. Yeah, but they're still existing at the same time. I know. Like, everything's happening in real time for them both. Yeah, you'll have to forgive your father for being curious, but where have you been all these years? I thought your Kerouac days were behind you. I'm sorry, what? What? What are you working on? Oh, I'm just just remembering things. Uh, it's not such an easy job, let me tell you. Your father is writing his memoirs. Are we in it? And what do you think? Do you want to be? Do you? Of course. You were all a part of your father's life? Why are you talking to me in the third person? Because I'm writing about myself, I suppose. Why, doesn't it suit you? I thought you might like these. They're yours. From a house I just bought on the lake. Where have you been? I really want to know. I was trying to forget you. Or forgive you. Did you succeed? No. Let me know if you need any help remembering. He said I got their yours oh. from the like, lake house? Yeah, I think he used... Did he design the lake house? you think blueprints are going to be in those? Or they're like... I don't know. Every time I stop to take a breath, I realize how isolated I've let myself become. You can get a bit desperate. It's not that I'm complaining. I love my work. But my heart still misses the lake house and its trees. I miss those trees so much. It's gonna plant the trees at the yeah. lake house because they weren't there in 2000. Or is she going into Chicago at his, at her future house? Oh. Even if we're far apart, I'll find a way to be close to you and take care of you. They've never even seen each other. Yeah. <gasps> Before your father, there was this boy. Did you love him? Yeah. Why, why didn't you marry him? So that you could ask me this question someday. Uh, when did he complete it? You weren't born yet, and I was eight. His dad built the lake. Yeah, I think so. It should be a stairway down to the water. Here, you're enough. In a box, glass box with a view to everything that's around, but you can't touch it. I don't know. You know, it's got this big maple growing right in the middle of the house. Containment. And control. This house is about ownership, not connection. It's incomplete. It's all about him. Dad knew how to build a house, not a home. Do you remember being here with Mom? I remember she tried to make it work here. You can't convince me you're going to be happy building these salt boxes for tourists. Yeah, visionary vanguard. That's your idea. I can't, but you can keep the name. Come on, it's got to be you and me. Henry, 
Got other plans. Do you have a girlfriend? Nah, no. What is that? You hesitated. That... No, I didn't hesitate. How do you possibly yeah. explain this? It's like... Oh, you're gonna think I'm crazy. Are you willing to play a game with me? Two years ago today, I was taking the 145 train to Madison, and I forgot something there. It was a gift from my father. If you find it, can you please put it in the mailbox? Yours, Kate. Yours? Need to tell him what it was? <laughs> 546 to Madison. It's her. What? That's her. It was? I call you. <gasps> But you're, you're right. So he, he can meet her, but she doesn't know who he is. And the mailbox thing happened. <laughs> Do you think she has that memory of someone running with the book? Like it would appear in her mind? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, time travel makes my mind hurt. You might not remember, but we saw each other. At least I saw you. <laughs> you never told me how beautiful you were. Well, maybe that was a bad hair year for me. Long brown hair, gentle, unguarded eyes. Okay, okay, okay. But I still don't know what you look like. Why don't we just get together in the future and you can let me know what you think? It's a date. Why don't you call me July 10th, 2006 at 9.05 p.m. But then is it 2008 for her? Yeah, because if he's in 2006. Kate? Yes? Morgan. Hey, uh, have you eaten? No, but Neither I'm... have I. I just realized I'm totally starving. He's the one she was kissing. Maybe. There wasn't a meaning, was there? Well, you'd see me if there was no big deal. Mm -hmm. just, I'll admit that I do sometimes get a few steps ahead of myself. Ten steps ahead. You were dating, what, a week? Still in my residency, you were picking out real estate. I would go to your house for the weekend. You'd have the entire town in your house to meet me. Yeah, you know, I do seem to remember that you made pretty fast friends with one of them. A guy. What guy? The guy I caught you making out with. What are we, in junior high school? It was just one kiss with some random guy. Unit 381 on Riviera Estates is complete. One down. 44 to go. It's going to be OK. The guys are getting another job. But we could use another backhoe. We see all Shut up. You're supposed to be on top of things around here. I thought I was. Will you ever notice these? She got herself some boots. I think we should go out tonight. Don't die, little doggy. Is that the dog not wanting him to go out with that girl? Or is he that gonna bring... Yours, I take it? Yeah, yeah, That's... sorry, thanks. <gasps> what were you thinking, huh, girl? What were you thinking? They've kissed them? Wait, what? Have hey, we met before? I don't think so. Morgan Price. <laughs> Alex Wilder. But he, he saw, saw them kissing. Oh, thank God you found him. Morgan, Morgan. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm having a bunch of friends over tonight for a party. <laughs> you two are welcome to come. It's Kate, my girlfriend. She's never really liked this place. And promised her we'd look for something new. Sure, she's a doctor. Yeah. Well, great to meet Try you. Try less. Yeah, honey. <laughs> well, there you go. Morgan, what time is that party at? Eight o'clock. It's Kate's birthday. Huh? But like, so he's like fully in love with her. It's Kate's birthday. And he, she won't even know. No. Stop trying. Oh my gosh, this is still hurting my head. Okay. I know. So, so I feel like I can get that like, oh, this happened. But yeah, the fact that they're exchanging letters in real time. That's the part where I'm like, wait, what? Because she's not traveling back to no. Ford to get the letter. Maybe we'll see something about the lake house that's... Oh. Well, isn't it their dad some, like, inventor? No, I think he's just an architect. Oh. He looks like an inventor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna meet some friends of mine. Alex, Mona, the Wooch, <laughs> Susan. She must have been like, why are we going to this random guy's party? No, she's obsessed because none of them date. That's true. <laughs> yeah. We would have had a cake for you or something. Yeah, it's just time passing. But I've sometimes wondered what else you have in your life besides work, family, boyfriend. Oh, I did once. <laughs> His name was Morgan. He's got a pen pal. <laughs> he doesn't love that. No. Oh, and it's like everyone's meeting her for the first time. This is Alex and Mona. <gasps> he knows her. He knows everything about her. Yeah. I'm happy now, and it was the right thing to do. 
Who is it you write to? There is someone. It's kind of a long-distance relationship. Christ, he's in prison, isn't he? No. He <laughs> <laughs> lives on a lake as an architect. Oh, my God. She remembers the kiss. Happy birthday. I hope it's a great year for you. Thank you. I'm Alex. Lake house guy. Oh, uh, yeah. How you doing? Oh, my gosh. Who? I would be such a spaz in this situation. <laughs> so, as him? Yeah. <laughs> You're never gonna guess. Him. Yeah. <laughs> we write letters through time. <laughs> You're a real estate agent? <laughs> no, I just uh, have a lake house. You're gonna rent it after I move out. Oh, really? Kate, have you read Persuasion? The Jane Austen book. Yeah. What? By Jane Austen. I know it's by. It's my favorite book. Why did Why did you bring something like that up? What? It's about. Um, about waiting. <laughs> These two people, they they uh, they meet, they almost fall in love, timing isn't right, they, they have to part. Years later, they, they meet again, they get another chance. You know, but they don't know if too much time has passed, they waited too long. Why do you like that? <laughs> I don't know. That's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. I, it's a personal question, but have you ever Oh, I mean, no. She was having great hair days. Until oh, I know. What is she talking great about? Great hair days. When I was 16, I was uh, completely in love with this guy. He played guitar. And, um, I ran away from home and, and uh, went to San Francisco so I could go live with him. Yeah, he convinced me I had a beautiful voice. And I dreamed of becoming a singer. I love San Francisco. Yeah, he, was, he was my first love. Probably the only one. <laughs> he must have been a great guy. I don't, I don't know. I didn't last long enough for me to find out. I can't even remember what he looked like. Really? Yeah. My dad, my dad showed up. I was in trouble. He yanked me back to Chicago. He had these, these dreams of me becoming a doctor. He was right. You know, I feel good helping people. And he died. I, uh, I just, uh... What? Do you know the song? I can't comprehend how this can work. I know. Because she's two years ahead and d isn't dating him. And it's not like his time goes 1.5 times faster. Right, so he can't catch up. He can't catch up. Right. So even if he could convince her to date now, me, you know. did she just wake up in 2006 and act together? I don't get it. The tree just appeared. Maybe. No, it had grown. Yeah, I know, but in her time, it just literally appeared. It did? Yeah. It wasn't there while she's looking for her keys, and then she looked up and it was there. Okay, wait, this is a moment. Oh, I missed that part. She's slow dancing. I feel like she can feel it, you know? Like that they have a connection. Yeah. I know. Yeah. She doesn't know him, but he knows her. She can totally feel it. And now in the future, she remembers. Yes. That. Yeah. Alex was, uh, Alex was just telling me about the, um, the lake house. Yeah, it sounds, sounds really great. Great. Alex, it's late. Oh, 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 oh. This is like the part in the book where I need to flip to the yeah, last I page. Know, I know, I know. Like, I stress for them. I liked you. You should have said something. How? Are they talking Who to me? your boyfriend? Mm, no. Or like, writing letters? Yeah. What about your girlfriend? I told you already, she's not my girlfriend. She's not my remember? boyfriend either. Wonderful, our first fight. You could write a song about it and go sing it in San Francisco. Hello? Hey, Henry. Hi. Good afternoon. Looking for my father. The hospital. I'm Anna Krasinski. I'm the attending for your father. He's okay. He's had a heart attack. You had a heart attack, Dan. I had an episode, for Christ's sake! Appreciate it. You kept everything in its perspective. Seems like a difficult man. Yeah. You see, it was my father who built the lake house with his own hands. And it was a long time ago before he was famous when he still had a family and worshipped my mother. Her name was Mary, and the house was a gift for her. See, the more successful he became, the more impossible he was to live with. She just couldn't take living with him anymore. Within a year, she got sick. Unfortunately, she never learned how to stop loving him. He wasn't at the funeral. When I asked him why... Go on, Alex. What did he say? He said she was dead to me the moment she stepped out of the house. 
What are you looking at? Oh, yeah, hey, take a gander. It's a proposal for a museum. They're all architects? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Where do you suppose this is meant to be built? I have no idea. Oh, but you said you liked it. Conceptually. You know as well as I do that the light in Barcelona is quite different from the light in Tokyo. A serious architect takes that into account. He knows that if he wants presence, he must consult with nature. He must be captivated by the light. He does have a passion, doesn't yeah. he? This is Dr. Klesinski at Chicago City Hospital. I'm afraid I have some difficult news for you. I wish somehow I could be there with you, that we could sit together and look out over the water in the light. If I could do one thing for you today, from here, I hope this is it. It won't be published for a couple of years, but I don't think you should have to wait that long. I hope it helps you know how much you were loved. He was writing his memoir. No, I don't understand. But Alex, it won't be tomorrow for you. You're, you're gonna have to wait. I know. Tomorrow. I'll see you in two years then. Wait, but then it'll be two years. Then. Yeah, tomorrow. So like tomorrow. he can put things into her time. When were you hoping to die in the Two years from tomorrow. Two years from tomorrow. Two years. From tomorrow. Ah, Forrester. Or uh, Weiler. Weiler. Because <laughs> he can't like put himself into existence. But it'll be 2006. For him now. If he waited two years. Yeah, but he, he said he was waiting, gonna wait two years. I know, but then she would have moved two years. But the waiter, like, remembered him. I mean, the hostess. Well, probably because they've had a booking for two years. It was the same girl. Yeah. It won't thrill me like yours. It's like, and you've got mail. Remember? She goes to meet him, and then he sees that it's her, and he's too chicken. Is he still be meeting with herself two years ago and like he made the reservation in his time for two years so but it's his tomorrow no it's his two years it's her tomorrow well it's both <laughs> right i don't know you weren't there you didn't come something must have happened i'm sorry i've got two years we can try again no it's too late it already happened what about persuasion you told me they wait. Life is not a book, Alex, and it can be over in a second. I was having lunch with my mother at Daly Plaza, and a man was killed right in front of me. What if you live your whole life and no one is waiting? So I drove to the lake house looking for any kind of answer, and I found you. But it's not real, Alex. I have to learn to live the life that I have got. He's still writing? So he doesn't know why he wasn't there in the future. He's like, uh -oh. something must have come up. I don't know why I wasn't there. Yeah. How long are you here? Morgan. Don't be Morgan. It's Morgan. I mean, he's not hateable. No, he just doesn't get her. Yeah. The tree. The tree. What? He's trying to dull it. Yeah. She is really trying to move forward. Hey, Jack. We always follow Jack. Jack. Yeah. He's moving? He has to, right? So she can move in? In her past life? Oh, I don't get it. He's like, yo, that's the box in the attic. He leaves the letters for her. She writes to him and says, what? Um, Kate, I'm gonna have to call you back. He remembers him, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Still want to rent a lake house? It's what Kate wants. How the hell do you know what Kate wants? Trust me. So then... I know you. But now it's reverse. I don't know, I don't know. Someone needs to explain this to me like I'm five years old. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't think anyone can exactly explain time travel because it's not really. I know, but like, like he's still in 2004. But how did the tree pop up? Because it's actually magic. Why do you keep tweaking the lake house? Why don't you 
do your own work. You're still riding with Kate? No. Why not? She asked me not to. Why? Time. You know, you need a real woman. <laughs> a woman? Henry, listen. Listen to me. While it lasted, she was more real to me than any of that stuff. She was more real to me than anything I've ever known. I love her. Okay, so right now in his time, she's living in a lake house. Mm hmm But then her and Morgan break up and she lives there. And then... Yeah, if he were to go back to the lake house right now, what would happen? This is in her real time now. Yeah, she's yeah, back so. with Morgan. Mm hmm There oh my is. gosh. Could he go and like deliver something in 1620? Huh? Because back then he could have gone and worked on that project. He was an architect. He planted her tree. In the book. Two thousand six. What do you think? This is what I gave up lunch for? Hmm. Found an architect who specializes in renovations. Made an appointment for tomorrow. I'm scared. Me too. It's gonna be Alex and his brother. But then, two years ago himself would have known. Visionary Vanguard. Oh, <gasps> but then how do they, I don't know how they catch up. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh God, Katie, I didn't get you anything. Sorry, I've just been so swamped. Yeah, for say your last name, say your last name's Weiler. Valentine's Day today. Taking out Vanessa, my girlfriend. What's the day? It's February 14th. February 14th, 2006. Yeah. She's called him a yeah. bit. But she's in 2008 now. Yeah. Who did this drawing? Uh, my brother did, actually. Who's your brother? Alex Weiler. Did you know him? Did? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Do you know how uh, I can get in touch with him? Is, is, he, is he anywhere that I can... Um, I'm sorry. He... Died uh, two years ago today, actually. Uh, there was an accident. And... She tried to save his life, so it was like, it's ghost. He doesn't know it's him. He doesn't know it's him that died. No. But he just knows someone died. But he knows that she was sitting out in front of the. And he knows that she went to the lake house after. Please, 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 please tell me she can somehow save him. Valentine's Day. What did that say? By the plaza. TV says it's global warming. Nothing wrong with that. You remember she said that? He's coming to find her. Oh! <gasps> it was you at Daily Plaza that day. Oh my gosh. Please don't go. Just wait. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love you. Time to say it, but I love you. No, oh, it's so cruel. It's so cruel. And if you still care for me, wait for me. Wait with me. And he did. Did he not get the letter? But the bus hit the car and it. Wait two years, Alex. Come to the lake house. So it's okay? I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> I think like to his brother, he's dead, but he didn't die in her universe. Know. Oh no. And she just read that letter in. Yeah. But it changed everything because he saw it in time. Then that didn't happen. She didn't. He didn't die on Valentine's Day two years ago, because he didn't. Yeah, because he didn't cross. Find her because five seconds ago she put that letter in. Yeah. And it was someone else that died. I guess. And they lived happily ever after. Great. <laughs> I mean, I liked it a lot. Yeah, me too. And like a happy ending. Yeah, that was a good kiss. We don't understand it. Well, like I was just saying, they were communicating two years apart, so obviously it's like in that movie world, it all changed and everything worked out. <laughs> we can't fully understand it because, you know. Because in I'm her reality, he was dead. 
But then she put the letter in. She ran right in, put the letter in, mm -hmm. and changed the past. So now her him. reality, he's alive. Yeah. Okay. Totally. So he, someone else died in front of the thing. Yeah. And his brother will just wake up the next morning and not remember that he ever died. Oh, are we missing something? No. I mean, it's time travel, Cass. So, yeah. In a world that time travel exists, that worked out. They have chemistry. I don't care they what you do. say. They do. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had it in Speed. Yeah. And they had it here. And they had like two scenes together. I know. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Oh, we love Love Month. I loved it. I love how it was had a different spin on yeah. this love story. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And like it, it really was so romantic with them so falling like, in love. So just like pure and tender. And some of the lines. Yeah, are really cute. And he kissed her and he knew, but she didn't. That would yeah, be so I know. She didn't even remember. Yeah. I thought for a second something was going to come back with like the San Francisco 16 year old. And she yeah. couldn't remember his face. Like maybe that was him. And I don't know. I don't know. Is this based on a book? I'd like to read this book, I think. It's weird. What a time. Sometimes a character like John Wick, who Keanu Reeves was John Wick mm. for four movies, and he like is John Wick. Mm. And sometimes when I watch a movie with someone like that, that that's devoted and into that character, yeah. I can't think of them as anything else. Oh, gotcha. But for some reason with him, I can see him in any universe. Do you think it's him? Johnny Utah, it's Shane like Falco? Younger though? You know, like if a new movie came out, would you be like, that's John Wick? I don't know. Hmm. Because he, I mean, John Wick 1, he was younger. Yeah. Like it was a long time ago. I don't know. So I think that means he's wonderful and breathtaking. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. He's actually a really good guy. We love that. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for watching along with us. Bye, everyone. Welcome to Love Month. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>